Sierra Circuit's new impedance calculator evaluates single-ended and differential pair impedances. In addition to this, it also calculates trace width, coupling coefficient, even and odd mode impedances, propagation delays, effective dielectric constants, trace inductance and capacitance, mutual inductance and capacitance. This tool is integrated with signal loss and crosstalk estimators. With the signal loss calculator, you can determine conductor, dielectric, insertion, and total insertion losses for even and odd modes. The crosstalk calculator can compute near and far end crosstalks, voltages, saturation lengths, and far end coupling coefficients. This tool supports 82 impedance models with multiple geometries, such as coded, uncoded, embedded microstrips, and strip lines. Within each specific structure, you can choose single-ended, differential pair, coplanar single-ended, coplanar differential pair, coplanar single-ended without ground, and coplanar differential pair without ground models. In this demo, we will first see the steps to calculate the desired impedance value for a given trace width. Let's select uncoded microstrip differential pair and click Open. Choose the desired units in which you would like to perform the calculation. Let's go for mills now. The input parameters to compute impedance for a specific trace width are dielectric height, dielectric constant, trace width, delta W, trace thickness, trace separation, or the sum of trace width and separation, and target differential impedance. If you need more information on any of these parameters, click on the respective help button. If you're not sure about the dielectric information, click Show PCB Dielectric Material Construction Table and select the PCB type, Material, and Material Type. Now, hit Show Dielectric Material Construction List. The tool displays the dielectric information of the selected material. You can also click on the plus button next to the dielectric height field if you need assistance with the dielectric properties. Using the drop-downs, you can define your requirements. Hit Update to automatically input this data in the respective windows. Similarly, if you require help in identifying the values of delta W and trace thickness, click on the corresponding plus buttons. Here, you need to choose the copper thickness to get the optimum values of delta W and trace thickness. After entering the values of all the input parameters, click on Calculate ZD. Click on Show More Parameters to view the hidden values. To find the trace width for a specific impedance, you need to enter all the other input parameters and click on Calculate W. If you like to update the values of dielectric height, delta W, and trace thickness, you just have to click on the respective plus buttons. Now, let's calculate the signal losses. For this, you need to click on the Signal Loss Calculator tab. Please note that you will not be able to compute signal losses without determining the impedance. Enter the values of dissipation factor, operating frequency, surface roughness, and length of the conductor and click Calculate Loss. The tool displays the values of dielectric, insertion, and total insertion losses for even and odd modes. Let's move on to the crosstalk calculator. Here, you need to enter the coupled trace length and signal rise time. The signal voltage is 1 volt by default. Hit Calculate Crosstalk after entering the values. The tool now displays near-end and far-end crosstalks and near-end and far-end voltages. Designing an appropriate impedance model to route your high-speed traces is essential to avoid signal distortion. Sierra Circuit's impedance calculator will help you arrive at optimum impedance values based on your dielectric and conductor attributes. Visit protoexpress.com and click on Designer's Tools to expedite your PCB design process.